Hi, Dr. Pat here. We're looking at input output models and what I have in this particular case is an input output table and so for this example what I want to do is show the steps how we convert an input output table into the input output matrix that we could use for our calculations to answer questions such as how much is used up uh, in production, how much what production level we need to meet a certain demand, what do we have, uh, how many, what quantity we have to uh, meet demand, and so, you know, left over from the production. So that's what we're looking at. Just want to take this moment just to go, how do we go from the table to the matrix? Okay, now one of the key things that when we're looking at the table here is that most of these input output tables will give us a total output. And so when these tables are made, they're made in terms of it we used up 36,000 units of wood in order to, to produce 120,000 units of wood. And so we used up 100 units of paper to produce 120,000 units of wood. And so the same thing goes over here in the, the paper column. Uh, 7,000 here represents how much units of wood we used up to create 120,000 units of paper. Now one of the things I want to bring your attention to, these do happen to be the same number, 120,000 for our total outputs. They don't always happen to be the same. There's no reason that they have to be the same. It's very unique that they are the same. So uh, it's not, they'll be different numbers most likely. But here's what we're going to do. So these tab this table is basically built off of a total output of 120,000 units. What we've got to do is we've got to convert this table that's in terms of 120,000 units of output into a table of only one unit of output. And that's the key. So we want to make a matrix uh, that basically represents how much we use up of wood to produce one unit of wood. And how much paper do we use to produce one unit of, of wood. So that's what we've got to do. How much wood is used up in order to produce one unit of paper. So we got to convert this 120,000 units into a single unit. What's the rate per unit? And that's what we got to do. So we're going to take our, our, our table here and basically the step is pretty straightforward. It's a little time consuming. It's tedious, I admit, completely. But uh, it's pretty straightforward. So to convert this, this is, remember, out of 120,000 units of production, that's production level, we had used up 36,000 units of wood to produce that. And so if I want it per one unit, what we have to do is for each of the columns, we basically divide by the total output for that column. So I'm going to <clears throat> take this 36,000, excuse me, take this 36,000, divide by 120,000, and that's where I get this 0.3. So to produce one unit of wood, I'm going to use 0.3 units of wood. And then uh, for paper, I've got 100 divided by 120,000. And so that's why this 0 0.00083. And so basically, to produce one unit of wood, we're using up 0 0.00083 units of paper. And then for the next column, it's about an output of one unit of paper. So we're going to take this 7,000 divided by 120,000. That's where this 0 0.0583 came from. Take that 17,000 divided by the 120,000 and now we have 0 0.14167 <clears throat> rounded off of course. And so basically we now have our numbers in terms of producing one unit of paper. How much do we consume for one unit of each one of those? And so that's basically what we do to convert from our input output tables to our matrix. Just go ahead and divide the columns by the total outputs for each of those columns. Thanks and hope that was helpful.